Hello and welcome back to Professional Tutors, the British Online School. We are a unique team of qualified and dedicated teachers here to help our students to reach their full potential. On today's lesson, we're going to look at um, how the current and the voltage, which is the same as potential difference, and the resistance uh, the changes in a series circuit. So we're going to look at series circuit and we'll also look at um, uh, the parallel circuit. So again, that's going to be a one mark question in exam. They're going to give you a few choices and they're going to ask you which graph um, represents the IV characteristic for a wire, uh, which one is for the bulb or the lamp, and which one is for the diode. So again, we're going to look at some um, IV graph. So IV means current and voltage. So current and voltage graph. So current on the y-axis and the voltage or the potential difference would be on x-axis. So this is your IV graph. And we're going to look at um, which shape represents a wire or a lamp or a diode. And again, we're going to look at resistance we're going to look at what is resistance and how do we measure resistance. We know we measure current in amps. Um, we know we measure charge in coulombs. And we know we measure potential difference or voltage in volts. So the new thing we're going to learn, how do we measure resistance? So let's have a look at what is meant by the word series. So series means one after the other, like a TV series uh, where the episodes um, are one after the other. I'm going to talk about series circuit. So in a series circuit, you have one component after another. So one component after another. And all of these components, they are connected together by the same loop. So the, all the components, like in this case, two bulbs, all the components in a series circuit, they're all connected in the same loop. That means the current has got only one choice. The current has got only one choice to, to flow through. But just have a look at these two statements here. We are going to fill in these blanks uh, by using these keywords there right at the bottom of the slide. So electrical current is the flow of charge carriers. So charge carriers. And those charge carriers could be the electrons or ions. And we know that electric Current is measured in amperes or amps for short. The potential difference, which is the same as voltage, um, in a circuit is the amount of energy. So that's the energy carried per unit charge. It's the amount of energy electrons have. So potential difference or the voltage is the amount of energy per unit charge that is transferred to the circuit between different points. Let's have a look at this question. So what will happen to the current flow in a circuit in a series um, uh, when, when you see a circuit? Now remember, the current remains the same in a series circuit. So the whole point of doing this, these two topics, series and parallel circuit, we want to know what happens to the current in a series circuit and what happens to the voltage in a series circuit. And when we discuss parallel circuits, then again, we're going to discuss the same question again. What will happen to the current in a parallel circuit and what happens to the voltage in a parallel circuit. So remember this statement, in a series circuit, the current remains 
the same and the voltage is shared so we have to make a note of that. It's really really important and that is what we want to take home from this topic that is what we want to remember and that is what is going to be the exam question so in a series circuit current always remains the same and the voltage is shared so if it's five amps of current flowing in the circuit each bulb or each component will get five amps of current so current remains the same in a series circuit now if we talk about voltage we said the voltage is shared so if the voltage in the circuit is say five volts and all the components are the same that means five volts one two three four five and six let's say six volts so if the voltage is six volts each component will get one volt each the current remain the same five amps so every single component will get the same current but the voltage is shared voltage will be shared so the six volts in the whole circuit each component will get one volt so that's the key idea we need to write down so in a series circuit the current remains the same and also add one more thing to this <clears throat> the voltage is shared well, so have a look at what happens to the potential difference in a series circuit now again potential difference is the same as the voltage so don't get confused so we're just seeing the current remains the same in the series circuit the next thing we're going to learn what happens to the voltage or the potential difference now if you look at this diagram here that battery is uh, sending 12 volts of voltage in the circuit it's got three components here and what we have seen the four volts goes to this and the four volts goes to this and again the four volts goes to this so uh, the voltage is shared in a series circuit if it was current current will remain the same across every single component but the voltage is shared uh, among the components in a series circuit Is it like so in a series circuit the total potential difference of the supply is so choose from these two options shared or different the answer is going to be shared so just remember the potential difference or the voltage always uh, they were shared in a series circuit. So current remains the same, but the potential difference is shared. The voltage is shared in a series circuit. So next thing we're going to look at is the resistance. The symbol for resistance is R, and resistance is the property of a substance or a material to stop the flow of electrons so when the electrons they they flow through the wire they collide with the atoms of the metal in a wire so the atoms or the ions in the wire they tend they try to stop the flow of electrons and that is what we call resistance so resistance is the property of a material where it tends to stop or slow the current uh, the flow of electrons okay. now the total resistance of the circuit is the sum of all the resistance of the separate components so in a series circuit if they ask this question in the exam if they give you what is r1 and if they give you what is r2 
And if they ask you, what is the total resistance? Simply add the two or three or whatever. They give you an exam, simply add all the resistance together and you will get the final answer. Let's have a look at this example now. We want to find out the total resistance in these two circuits. Now, this is a symbol. It's called ohms, O-H-M-S, ohms. That is how we measure resistance. Now, we have just discussed if you want to find out the total resistance in a circuit, simply add them all up. So in this case, the total resistance is going to be 10 ohms. And in this case, if you add all, all of them together, the answer is going to be 15 ohms. The general equation to find out the resistance in a series circuit is going to be just add up, just add all the resistance in a circuit and you'll get the final answer. So total resistance is sum of all the resistance in a series circuit. Let's have a look at these questions. Now that is one of the most important formula in this the whole topic, and that's a guaranteed exam question. So you can write it down V equals IR, or V equals I times R, or you may wish to draw a formula triangle. So but make sure you know how to use this formula. Now here are some questions here. Find the total resistance. Do you know what to do if you want to find out total resistance? Find the current, and for that one, we have to use this formula. So if we have to make current as the subject, so I is going to be V over R, or I equals V divided by R. Now we know V from here, they've given you that, and R is going to be the total resistance in the circuit. Divide them both and you'll get the answer. And the next one, find the potential difference across the six ohm resistor. Now in this case, we know R is six ohms. We know the current from our previous question. We, so uh, question number two, that is what is gonna tell us what's the value of the current. And we know that in a series circuit, the current remains the same at every single point. So it's the same current through every single resistance. So we know the value of current, we know I, we know R, and to find the potential difference or the voltage, simply times them together and you will get the answer. You can pause the screen, give it a go, and we'll look at the answers in a minute. So these are the answers. So mark them. If they're correct, give yourself a thumbs up. If they're wrong, go back, watch the presentation and try to give them another go. These are some more exam questions or practice questions for you to do. Pause the screen, do them. And there are a couple more questions here. And these are from the actual past paper. So again, you can pause the screen and you can give them a go. Thanks for watching. If you find the information useful, please subscribe, share, and like the video.